Hey everyone, so I'm going to be doing a really cool tutorial on how to get flashing text. Um, right now, I think I only know how to do it in Final Cut Pro, but if I do figure it out in iMovie, I will definitely be sure to help out my iMovie users out there. So the first thing you want to do is we're going to create the flashy background. So you're going to go over here to Generators, and you're going to click on Solids, and then go to Custom and then drag that in into your timeline. And this is where you guys can be creative. You guys can choose whichever color scheme you want. Just stay away from greens. Um, so you could just do whatever color. So what I like to do is when I'm doing this is to pick bright colors, but you could do whatever you want. And what also is nice is to copy and paste these so they're about the same length. I think it looks the nicest. So that's a little bit too green. I'm gonna get more of an orange. So you guys could choose more than three colors, but this is just what I'm going to use. And I'm going to copy, or I'm going to drag and select all three of these and go to New Compound Clip just by clicking um, a right click. So then this is where you get to time it. So it's usually pretty slow. So I'm going to make it eight times faster and see that's still a little slow. So I'm going to go to 20 times faster. Okay, and then once you have the speed down, you're going to copy and just click Command C and then Command V to paste. And you want to make this as long as your clip is or however long you want the title to be. And then select all of these and click New Compound Clip and then click OK. Next, we're going to create our text. So we're going to go ahead and back into the generators and the solids and we're going to go to Custom and leave it as its black color. Then go to the text tool and you guys could use something that's animated that would probably look really cool or what you could do is I'm just going to use a basic title just for the purpose of this video and then you could keyframe it if you want. If you guys don't know what keyframing is, it's basically an easy way to animate in um, Final Cut Pro. I'll show you guys how to do it. So I'm going to type in basic but again you guys could use like anything. Drag this over top and then we're going to change it to whatever text you want. And I'm going to use Babus, but you guys can use whatever font. Make it big. And then the important part is to change the face to a bright green. And you're good to go. Then you're going to select both of these and click New Compound Clip, and then click OK. And then drag this on top of your flash, and then trim out any excess that you have. So I have a little bit excess here. Then you're going to go to the effects and go to keying and you're going to click on keyer and drag that over top and that's going to make your text clear. So now when you play it, it's flashy. Then you're going to select both of these and right click and click new compound clip once again. And then in the same section where you see keying, you're going to see luma keyer and you want to luma key that. And that is going to get rid of the um, black part. So it doesn't look like much happened, but when you drag it over your clip now, it's clear. And you'll see that this kind of makes it a little bit transparent, which I personally like the text a little bit transparent, but if you guys need to fix that, you could go to Show Color Board, and sometimes it messes with the saturation, so you could saturate the text all the way back up. It doesn't get rid of like the clearness, but it works pretty well. So now what you could do is you'll see that when you transform this smaller, there's going to be these little, oh, you can't even see it. But sometimes there's little uh, like bars that just didn't get keyed out. What you could do is just go ahead here, here into crop and just crop it on all sides, especially if you want to keyframe it. That way there's no issues. Now keyframing is if you wanted this to kind of animate or whatever. So you want to make sure to click on your clip and click transform. And I'm going to have it kind of shoot in. So you want to drag it off, but you want to still be able to see these dots. And then you click a keyframe, play it with your keyboard, pause it, and then drag it to wherever you want it to be. And the faster that you pause, um, the faster it's going to kind of like move in. So then you just keep repeating this and you can rotate it. And do stuff like that. Okay, so now when you play it, there you go. And you see how it does still have that like line? What we could do is go ahead back in and crop it a bit more. Let's see. Okay, and so now when you play it, it doesn't have that obnoxious line. You can still see it in some parts, and I'm not quite sure why. Let's see if we can. Yeah, because see, looks like it's showing up over here. 
Hmm. Very odd. Um, but yeah, that is how you animate in Final Cut Pro and how you create flashing text. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Alright guys, bye!